Cambodia has experienced remarkable economic growth in the past few decades. In 2020, Cambodia's economy was pushed to negative growth due to COVID-19, but it recovered in 2021 and positive growth has come back. As the Cambodian economy grew, freight transportation has increased dramatically, and road infrastructure has become a very important part of Cambodia. But the quality and capacity of roads in Cambodia were still at a low level. According to the World Economic Forum, in 2019, Cambodia had a score of 3.6 out of 7.0 on road quality, which is the second lowest in the region, Vietnam had 3.4, Laos had 3.7, Thailand had 4.4, Malaysia had 5.3, and Singapore had 6.5. Japan International Cooperation Agency has been supporting the improvement of road infrastructure in Cambodia for a long time, and now Tekken Corporation is participating as a contractor in the National Road No. 5 Improvement Project. This project is funded with loans under official development assistance by JICA, and is intended to increase transportation capacity and improve logistics efficiency. <laughs> ដល់ប្រទេសកម្ពុជាយើងក្នុងការព្រួយយ៉ាងណាឲ្យប្រទេសយើងមានការអភិវឌ្ឍឲ្យជាពិសេសខាងផ្នែកជាតិថាអាច
The construction contract is based upon an international form called the FIDIC Conditions of Contract for Construction. Um, and in that contract, the duties and authorities of the engineer are defined. Um, so my job is basically to undertake those duties and authorities as prescribed under the contract and also to perform my responsibilities as the project manager for the consultant in supervising the works with my supervision team. 一般構造の安全を最優先にして施工順序日工程を考えながら一般構造を切り替えて工事を進めていくことが非常に難しかったです。Based on my observation uh, during the constructions, most of the community input benefited the communities or publics but had a negative impact on the project's planning and development, mostly influenced on the design, the work sequence, or delay the work. Uh, for example, when our structure was under progress, we had to close the dam during the construction. However, the downstream villager needed water to water their crops and the rice field. Uh, we, we could not deny the request. We, we must uh, resequence our works or delay it or hold our work. So yes, several challenges, primarily related to construction issues. Um, we have problems with unforeseeable ground conditions or physical obstructions. We had problems dealing with flooding during the rainy season and always in maintaining safe conditions for public traffic at all phases of the, of the project. <laughs> We work with more than 400 staff for two projects here. Communication is most important and I try to listen to their opinions carefully because we work with Kmel staff and other foreign countries staff together and there were many different thinking and opinions. So if all parties under the contract understand their duties and obligations and authorities under the contract, all parties can properly communicate with each other, then the contract will be implemented smoothly. So the issue is when there, there are uh, issues to be resolved, the, the engineer must make a determination um, in accordance with the authorities given to him under the contract. And then for that to be successful, he needs to be fair and reasonable to all parties um, in making his determination. In my experience, I try to make the aim and the goal of the management of construction progress as transparent as possible so that the team understood how they could distribute the effort to provide a clear pictures of the work achievement and needed information. Therefore, I could visualize, analyze, measure the progress against plant and provide this information to the top management team. This information is very crucial for the top management team to promptly make decision and take action to avoid unnecessary delay to the project. To get to know each other well, I try to speak with many staff, and now I feel we have a good relationship. This experience led to my own growth, and I think our staff also expanded their viewpoints. Before construction, we already prepare one document we call safety plan. In safety plan, we conduct daily safety patrol, monitoring and audit. We conduct safety education and training. We do the hazard identification and risk assessment uh, procedure. Then we conduct regularly safety meeting. Then we conduct a corrective and preventive action procedure. Most of local workers they are not so understanding about the safety work. That's why it's very, very difficult to explain them during our training or education. Most of the time, we are prepare many, many simple to show them during our training or education. 
ngay 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 Because I can have opportunity to study from the expert from who are coming from the overseas and sharing our experience to each other. 非日常で刺激的な経験をできることだと思います。言語や文化、生活習慣が日本とは異なる海外で働くことは日々驚きの連続です。正直、理解できないことや日本ではありないことも多々起こりますが。困難を乗り越えた時の達成感は言葉では言い寄らせません。Now our project is going to finish, and I really want to say thank you to everyone who supported and helped us until the end. Finally, I believe if this project can be seen as successful, then it will lead to better or further cooperation between the, the, the government of Cambodia and the government of Japan in implementing similar projects going forward in the future. 2023 marked the 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Japan and Cambodia. Japan has cooperated with Cambodia in many ways, infrastructure improvement, public health, water supply, education, landmine clearance, human resource development, and so on. 現在、道路分野や水分野に関して、都市部及び地方におけるインフラ整備が急ピッチへ進んでおります。今後は、地層分野のインフラ整備も進んでいくのではと予想しております。鉄拳の海外工事における強みは、幅広い工事の経験だと思います。鉄拳は現在、アジアの4カ国語でプロジェクトを持っており、カンボジアの道路工事以外に、鉄道工事、橋梁工事、下水工事と様々な工事を行っております。今後も海外工場を継続し、海外に強い鉄拳、都人に伝えるよう、自分自身も会社に貢献していきたいと考えております。